Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make these white chocolate and ginger cookie cups. Let's begin. To get started on the recipe you'll want to make the cookie cup. So to make the dough, grab yourself a large mixing bowl and place in all of your butter, followed by the light green sugar and granulated white sugar and beat them all together until they are lighter and fluffier in colour and consistency. This takes around 5-7 to seven minutes depending on the softness of your butter. You can then go ahead and give the bowl a good scraping down. This is just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. You can then go ahead and add in your egg and vanilla and mix these in until they are fully incorporated. You will notice a change in the consistency of the batter. This is completely normal and what you are looking for. Go ahead and give the bowl another good scraping day and just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. You can then go ahead and add in the dry ingredients, passing them through a sieve first just to remove any lumps that may be in the mixture as sometimes flour can get a bit clumpy as you can tell like here. I've got a fair few lumps, discard those. Then you can go ahead and add in your crystallized ginger and white chocolate and just incorporate these until a dough forms, being careful not to over mix the mixture at this point. You can then go ahead and weigh up your cookie dough. You'll want to make it equal amounts, so take your dough weight and divide it by six. If this isn't more than enough dough to make six quite large cookie cups, just take your ball of dough and then flatten it into more of a a patty shape then press it into your cupcake tin just to fit that that's the perfect size for these this sort of recipe to start on the edible cookie dough you can go ahead and grab a baking tray which has been lined with some parchment paper and pour on your flour spread it out and then you'll want to place it into your preheated oven and bake it off for around five to ten minutes you don't want it to color you just want to cook that flour so it's not raw when you add it into the recipe place it into your oven and bake it just keep your eye on it to get started on the cookie dough, you'll want to go ahead and grab a mixing bowl and place in your butter, your granulated white sugar and your light brown sugar and beat them all together until they are fully combined. You're not necessarily looking for light and fluffy, just very well combined. You can then go ahead and start to add the milk slowly and surely be careful not to scramble the mixture. By the time all of the milk has been incorporated, you will find that the mixture has split, but don't worry, this is completely normal due to the amount of moisture that is being added into the recipe. Go ahead and chuck in your icing sugar and mix that in until it's fully incorporated. You will notice that it does alleviate some of that kind of curdledness. Then you can go ahead and add in your fillings of choice, which I'm using the crystallized ginger and white chocolate. You can then go ahead and add in all of the flour and mix everything in until it's fully combined. Being careful not to over mix. Then take two scoops of the dough for each ball that will go on top. Flatten them together, bring them together, roll them out. I use the, the actual cook, a larger cookie scoop to round it off and you get the perfect sphere shape. So to make the filling, you'll want to make the creme pat, which is really easy, into a saucepan, place all of your milk, and then place that on the hob over a medium low heat. Then into another bowl, you'll want to place your egg yolks and your sugar, and whisk them together until they are lighter and fluffier. You will notice that the mixture goes from quite an orangey color to a much paler yellow color. Don't forget to add in your dry ingredients and then just whisk them in until they are fully incorporated. You will notice that the mixture thickens up and changes colour. That's completely normal and what you're looking for. Once your milk has come up to a boil, you can then add in a small amount of roughly about a quarter or a third and mix that in to the egg mixture. This will just help to temper it so when you add the rest it doesn't scramble. As if it scrambles, just throw it away and restart. You can go ahead and start to pour the rest of the milk in whisking constantly as you go along. Then you can transfer the mixture back into the saucepan and place back on the hob where you'll want to stir it constantly until the mixture has thickened. You may think, oh, it's not going anywhere, but all of a sudden it will thicken up and you do not want this to catch on the bottom, otherwise you've wasted your time and a lot of ingredients. So just keep whisking until it's fully mixed in. Then grab yourself a clean bowl and transfer the creme pat into it. Cover with cling film and place somewhere to cool down, then place in the fridge until you need it. So once you're ready to use the creme pat, you can remove the cling film that's been placed on top. This just stops the skin from forming. Then you can whisk the creme pat and bring it back into much more of a pipeable consistency. If that's what you're looking for. Just, so just give it a quick whisk, just to bring it back up. Then transfer the mixture into the piping bag. You don't need a nozzle fitted if you don't want to. You can then go ahead and grab your baked cookie cups, which are fully cooled, and then fill them generously with the creme pat. You don't have to use creme pat. You could use a ganache, but I wanted to use a creme pat. Then top each of them with an edible ball of cookie dough and trust me these are full of that white chocolate and ginger and 
you can't go wrong. I'm not a big ginger fan, but this it works really well. So I hope you enjoy. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more from me. And I'll be back again soon with another recipe. So join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description of the links to these recipe I'll link to my blog and links from all the social media. So don't forget to go and follow me over on there. As I am trying to be a bit more active during the month of December. But that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.